Hi everyone, it's Mother's Day on Sunday and me and my sister are going to do an afternoon tea for our mum. She's doing the savouries, I'm doing the sweets. So, I want to get a bit ahead of myself. I'm making scones today and I'm freezing them. I'm going to freeze them till Sunday morning and then let them just thaw out and they'll be just as nice as they are today. So, first off, for these scones, I call these Anne's scones because this is my friend Anne's recipe that she gave me during lockdown. I'd always used a, a good housekeeping scones one before, which were nice, but when I tasted, Anne gave me some of her scones during lockdown. She brought me a treat box and I'm not joking, they were the nicest scones I've ever tasted. So, these are Anne's scones, so I've got Anne to thank for this recipe. So you want 175 mils of whole milk. And in that, you want, as Anne says, just a real good glug of lemon juice. And you leave that to turn into buttermilk. Because that is buttermilk, that's all buttermilk is. Leave that to curdle. Yep, curdle. <laughs> I'm doing them in my food processor. You can do them in the food processor. It, it is a bit tight with this recipe. You've got to get everything in this small um, food processor. Right, so now you need 350 grams of self-raising flour. In your food processor now this is a bugger trying to get these in here you can rub them in your bowl rub the butter and the flour together in in your uh, mixing bowl if you like or cut through with a knife but I try I do it in, in me food processor because I've got wonky hands got arthritis in my fingers and uh, so i find this easier apart from when you're trying to put the bloody flour in the food processor bowl but once you get it in <laughs> it's all right there we go and a teaspoon of baking powder You want 85 grams of butter. I use salted, you can use unsalted. But I prefer salted for my scones. Chop that up. Into little cubes. Just pull those together.
then you're going to add your caster sugar. You want three tablespoons of caster sugar. Now, if you're just making um, plain scones, leave it as it is. I'm making sultana scones. So, you want... I don't weigh them, just a couple of handfuls of sultanas. Give that a bit of a pulse. Now you're going to add your milk. You to add your milk with the lemon juice which is now made baking powder. What did I say? It's now made baking powder. Oh, so felt, sorry, shouldn't swear. Which is now made buttermilk. There's something wrong with my mind, I'm telling you. Honestly, there is definitely something wrong with my mind. Make baking powder. God's sake, Christine. I've left a bit in the jug just to see if I need any more. <laughs> Thanks, Anne, for this wonderful recipe. Now all this you can do by hand if you want, just, just rubbing it in, in a bowl. You know what guys, I forgot something. Typical. A teaspoon of vanilla extract as well. I've just had to go back to my recipe book that I wrote it down in when Anne gave it me and the only that's I thought I'm sure there's something else and there is vanilla. Right, just keep pulsing it till it comes together into a nice dough. <laughs> mix we're having a 21st party for my oldest grandson Max in the, in the beginning beginning of April um, he's 21 on the 23rd of this month but we couldn't get a room a function room they were all booked up so we're having it on the 5th of April I've decided to do a dessert table. I'm going to make him a cake as well, but I've always wanted to do a big dessert table with some dipping pots and what have you. We'll see how far I get with that. <laughs> Empty your dough out onto a floured surface. Put a bit of flour on your hands as well. 